Oh boy, it is finally time to talk about Crypto Locker, one of the most discussed pieces of malware since probably Configure, with this being an actual threat in comparison to Configure. Now, unless you've been hiding under a rock for the past two months, you've probably heard about this either through internet articles, maybe even TV. I know I heard about it on the radio, which is crazy. So, I figure it's time to finally get this working. And... What is CryptoLocker? Well, it's a file encrypting ransomware, and I'll try to explain more about it as the video goes along, but essentially it will uh, destroy your files by encrypting them in a certain way that would be impossible to decrypt without actually having the private key which CryptoLocker holds for a ransom. Now before we get started, as you can see, we have a couple of documents on the desktop that we simply would not ever want to lose. Very, very important documents. And let's just go ahead and run CryptoLocker, see what happens. And as you can see, it has deleted itself. And if we open Task Manager, we can see two processes running. And it does this in order to protect itself from being killed by Task Manager. But if we use Process Explorer, we can get around that pretty easily. So it's been a while, and as you can see, CryptoLocker really hasn't done anything yet. Our files are still intact, and our image is still there smiling at us. So, what's the problem? Well, CryptoLocker simply does not want to work. We're going to have to install this registry key up on the desktop. But first, we're actually going to have to go get Process Explorer to kill the processes and then load the key. Ridiculous. And you thought that was it, but no, we're actually not running on Windows 7 right now. This is actually Windows Embedded Standard 7 for ATMs or something. Not even the real Windows 7, but after all the combinations I've tried, this is the only one that actually works. Okay, so now we have Process Explorer and we can end this process tree. Now we're going to run this registry key, which will allow CryptoLocker to work without being able to contact its server. And as you can see, CryptoLocker is now using much more of the CPU than it was a moment ago. Before it was idling at 0 or 1, and now we're getting a consistent 4 or 5% of the CPU. Let's go ahead and check our documents. And, ooh, as you can see, CryptoLocker has done a number on that file. And our image is uh, ruined. So CryptoLocker has worked, but right now we're just waiting on the program to open. And there it is in all its glory. Your personal files are encrypted. This is very bad. And it is giving us a time frame to pay the ransom or our files will be lost forever. And for some reason it says 273 hours. That seems a bit more than three days. However, We've had to set the clock back on the computer, so the timer goes back. And you can actually set this back further. We tested it all the way back to 1980 and came out with like 20, or actually 200,000 hours or something crazy like that. However, the key is stored on a server and the server is able to keep time on its own. So this is sort of just a reference for a regular user. And what's interesting is the price. It says $300 or 300 euros, and a lot of Europeans will complain about the pricing of some goods being on a one-to-one -one scale, although the exchange rate of the dollar and the euro or British pound are different. They're not one-to-one. -one. So I'm not really understanding why they're discriminating like that, but I'll take it. And CryptoLocker is providing a list of files that it has encrypted, and it also has a link to a Wikipedia article talking about the RSA key that they're using to encrypt files. I'm not an expert, but I am aware this is some very robust encryption, so very unlikely for it to ever be broken. And we'll just go ahead and try to pay for this. Uh, we have two payment options, either Money Pack or Bitcoin, interestingly enough. We'll talk about Money Pack first. And for those of you who don't know, Money Pack is sort of similar to a... Uh, post office money order but it goes through something called money pack uh, yeah so you buy three hundred dollars worth of money pack from one of these stores and you give the code to these people 
I had never heard of Money Peck until the FBI ransomware came out, and this is their primary uh, form of money transfer. It's over this Money Pack. And we also have Bitcoin, which is very interesting because about a couple months ago, Bitcoin was worth a lot less than what it's worth now. As you can see, they were asking for two Bitcoins. Currently, the price is $260, which is crazy. Like, why would anybody pay in Bitcoin now? But before, it was actually cheaper than the uh, $300 flat rate. So we chose Money Pack, and we're supposed to enter our number here. We don't have a Money Pack number. And another thing about CryptoLocker is that it will drop this bitmap file onto your desktop, and it will also change the desktop wallpaper to this bitmap file, as you will be able to see here. And this is just in case if an antivirus program actually deletes CryptoLocker. And this is probably the only time you would ever want to keep it malware on your computer. Because if you wanted to get your files back through paying the ransom, you need to have CryptoLocker on the computer. And it's supposed to give you a link to CryptoLocker so you can download it again. However, this desktop just doesn't have it for some reason, so you're kind of screwed. This is probably due to it not being able to actually contact the server. However, this is a possibility at any point. And because the crypto locker people are greedy and this is a professional operation, they have created a service in which somebody who misses the due date can get their files back. However, it doesn't work in IE8 for whatever reason, and they're demanding 10 bitcoins to get your files back. And a lot has been written about this saying that, oh, they've jacked the price up so much. Well, it's actually the value of Bitcoin that's gone up. It used to only be $1,200, and now it's going to be up to $2,600 to decrypt your files. And that leads me to another point. You might have to pay this ransom. Now, normally I would never recommend you pay the ransom for, like, the FBI screen lockers or anything like that. Definitely not fake antiviruses, because... Well, you can just reinstall Windows and you're good to go. But this destroys your files in such a way that you will not get them back. Unless if you have what? File backups, yes. Off-site file backups. Everybody should be doing this already. But if you haven't, this is your wake-up call. You need to be doing this. And there's really no excuse for it nowadays. Like right now, I'm paying a about five and something a month to be able to back up all of my files online and I have like two point something terabytes of stuff backed up on crash plan and there's plenty of other services but that's really the one that I recommend simply because they have the best rates for a person that has a lot of files so everybody should be doing that by this point also should of course keep your antivirus up to date it'll most likely stop this and certainly by this point it'll stop crypto locker but if you have crypto locker and you have very important files that have been encrypted and you don't have backups i would recommend paying this if your files are worth more than three hundred dollars if you're running a business and you have important files that are lost that could cripple you $300 is really not that much, so my recommendation, if you need these files back and you have no other way to get them back, I would recommend paying through Money Pack. It's going to be your cheapest option for the foreseeable future, and if the price of Bitcoin ever crashes, most likely these guys aren't going to take only two coins. So, best bet is to pay the $300 flat rate. And it's so weird to recommend paying the ransom, but really, it's your best option to get your files back. And I'll try to answer as many questions as possible about CryptoLocker. Uh, if any new updates come out, I'll definitely make an updated video. But any questions or comments, feel free to leave them or send me a private message. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and please stay safe.